The United States remains committed to a two-state solution. This violence takes us further away uh, from that goal. We'll continue to engage with uh, Israelis, Palestinians, and other regional partners to urge de-escalation and to bring calm. Secretary of State Antony Blinken there earlier today addressing the violence in the Middle East, airstrikes and missile launches killing at least 53 people in Gaza and at least seven in Israel. One U.N. official warning the Israelis and the Palestinians could be escalating toward a full-blown war. The violence in that region, the worst it has been in seven years. Israel announcing that its defense forces targeted and killed several senior Hamas commanders. NBC News foreign correspondent Molly Hunter joins me now from London. Uh, Molly, the news here just coming in fast and furious. Uh, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu congratulating the Israeli defense forces for that targeted attack on Hamas in the Gaza Strip. What else can you tell us about what happened there? Yeah, it was a pretty extraordinary video. It happened about two hours ago, and it was a 14-story building. It's the tallest building kind of in this part of Gaza, mostly full of media offices, including the media offices of the Hamas-run TV station Al-Aqsa. And there were warning missile strikes, and then, Allison, an Israeli airstrike took the entire building down. And that is the video that Prime Minister Netanyahu yeah. tweeted, and he congratulated the IDF on that. Allison, I also want to say, and this happened to us last night, too, we just got new numbers. So, actually, the numbers are already out outdated in your intro. We just learned that 65 people in Gaza have been killed, including 16 children. Molly, I feel like that's just a testament to what's going on there. Every time I see you on TV, whether it's with us, MSNBC, uh, it seems like those numbers just keep changing so quickly. Uh, I understand the Israeli cabinet is meeting tonight about potentially expanding the military operation in Gaza. Yeah. What can you tell us about that? That's exactly right. So the cabinet was set to meet tonight Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was speaking earlier today, and he said that was the plan. He also was very clear, Allison, that the Israeli military is not backing down. The IDF spokesperson was very clear that this would intensify. The defense minister, Benny Gantz, was also very clear that this was just the start of this. So I think that if we do hear anything after that cabinet meeting tonight, it will be that the Israeli military and Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's administration is not ready to back down. Also, about an hour ago, Allison, we heard from Mahmoud Abbas, Palestinian President Abbas, and he was very mm -hmm. strong. And he said, enough is enough. He said, please leave us alone, Israel and the United States. But there was absolutely no language of reconciliation, of ceasefire, of de-escalation from either side, Allison. Molly, we're also hearing some breaking news in several Israeli cities. Uh, there are reportedly protests, mobs attacking each other. What do you know? What's going on there? This is coming in literally as we're going on in the air. We've just gotten a report from our producer on the ground, Allison. Of course, all week I've been in London. We have a great team there who's feeding us back information in real time. So last night, what we saw, Allison, across multiple Israeli cities, mixed Israeli cities, so Jewish Israelis live there as well as Palestinian citizens of Israel, we saw the biggest street protest that we have seen in 20 years. And so that was kind of hit a fever pitch last night. Prime Minister Netanyahu this morning talking. He called it anarchy this morning. He said he would not be afraid to rule with an iron fist. Tonight, what we're seeing sounds even more dangerous. It sounds like mobs are literally out. And the word that was used in our reporting, Allison, was lynching. Both sides are lynching people from the other side. Now, we do have a statement from the Israeli police foreign press spokesperson who says police units are continuing to respond to violent incidents that have taken place in Accra, Lod, and the Bar Yam area. Those are three cities uh, similar to what I just described. Units responding quickly to incidents on the streets and in neighborhoods to prevent further major incidents. Again, these are the biggest protests that we've seen. And this is something while we're talking about Gaza, we really have to keep our eyes on some of these Israeli cities inside Israel. Allison. Hey, NBC News viewers. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.